Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so pretty. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel and it's by Mandy. My name is Amanda and today we have a yarn window shopping video. Back when I first started this channel, I posted a few videos in this format inspired by the videos that Nisi Pia makes for window shopping on her channel. Recently, I've been asking you over on Instagram what you all want to see more from on this channel, and a few people mentioned that they would like to see the window shopping videos come back. So please let me know if you like this style of video. My setup's just a little bit upgraded, and I'm feeling really excited about this one that I have filmed for you all. There is some background noise that Unfortunately, I didn't realize was getting picked up by the mic like my cat's water fountain and at the end I think my boyfriend's in the kitchen and you can hear some noise. So I've tried to cover that the best that I can. I figured it would be better to have the first take of this video because I am just kind of reacting to things and it'd be kind of weird to go back and refilm and pretend like I hadn't done that before. So with that, let me know in the comments if there are any other yarns that you want to browse with me and let's get into the video. I have some color work options, but I want to start pretty simple for the first sweater. And since it is the month of August, I am again reminded that Folklore is the best album that Taylor Swift ever created. If you're not familiar with Taylor and of all the lore that comes with being a fan of her, there's a song called Cardigan on the album Folklore. When she released this album, she also released her very own line of cardigans that fans could buy. They're really hard to get your hands on now, as you could imagine. Lion Brand and a few other places have free knitting patterns for this beautiful, just like air and weight sweater that has almost like a varsity, like 50s sweater kind of feel. I feel like Sandy would have worn this type of sweater in Greece before she became hot. I really love especially this one. A cable knit cardigan is really what we're looking at here with some kind of like varsity striping is what I equate this to. Now, I think on the sweater that Taylor Swift sells, it's actually black, but I think like a nice dark ink navy blue would look nice too. I don't love the idea of it being black. Sorry, Taylor. And then if I also wanted to go the extra mile, I could get star patches or do star buttons because uh, that's also an original part of the sweater. Like you can see them here, but I don't know. That actually might kind of interfere with the wearability of the sweater and I don't mind it being a nod and not an exact replica. So the yarn used for this is the Lion Brand Woolies, which I have worked with before. And honestly, I don't really like that. That much. Let's look at what yarn ideas there are and maybe we can find something like very simple. Drops Nepal I have not used. That could be a really good budget option. Oh, and the Knit Picks Simply Wool Erin. I love Knit Picks. Wool of the Andes Worsted. The Lions Brand Fisherman's Rule I've seen. So the Lions Brand Fisherman Wool, I feel like in a, in a tweed would be kind of nice or this natural color. They're out of stock, obviously, of course. As I understand, this is a really good budget, 100% wool. Um, it's $14 for 465 yards. So that's not bad at all. You could probably make a whole sweater, depending on your size, for like 60 ducks, maybe even less. I'm not doing great math right now, mentally. That's one option. Not a lot of colors here. If you wanted to, you could accent it with like brown. I know that Surella did a kit for this as part of the Taylor Swift drop and it's really smart. You could pick like different colors for each era because another thing that Taylor Swift has done because she's a capitalist genius, she's created sweaters for each era. So Speak Now is the most recent release. It has the color purple associated with it. So it was a purple sweater. Did anybody see the memes that were like, oh my god, they killed Grimace for this <laughs> because it was also Grimace's birthday in the Grimace shake. I, maybe that was just a McDonald's promotion in America, but the memes were hilarious. That's one option. We could use that 100% wool. I am an 100% wool girl. I, ooh, this one has alpaca in it, which could actually add a nice drape. So this is the Drops Nepal. The thing with drops is you'll usually get smaller balls of yarn, but they're still pretty inexpensive. So this is 50 grams and you get 82 yards or 75 meters in each gram. 
in each ball. It looks like, do they have some mix and some, and some uni color, they call them. Maybe the light gray instead of the off-white. I don't like love the starkness of an off-white and I just know I would mess it up. I am not the most neat and tidy gal, so the light gray might be nice. However, none of these accent colors are really doing it for me. Like this royal blue is a little too light and this navy blue kind of looks like it it, it veers into purple. If you use Ravelry, this is like my favorite thing to do if I'm ever really stuck on a color. I will like go into people's projects. But yeah, this is still leaning very purple to me um, in all of these different pictures. Like it's kind of blue here. Mm, not not inky enough, not dark dark blue enough. So we'd have to maybe find a different a different blue. Like I love just like looking at all the colors in order. Just isn't that nice? It's very nice. Be finding a good match for maybe a one stop shop where I could get an accent color and the body. I usually like to do that to make things efficient, but we can always not. I wanted to maybe look at something that's a little more luxe. Blue Sky Fiber Sweater Worsted. Uh-oh, here we go. Here we go, now we're talking. Now this is the bougie stuff. Okay, let's, here's the, love you, but like, bring me to the website. <laughs> you know what I love? I love an about page, but I'm not seeing one. Awesome, started in Minneapolis, it's kind of a backyard backyard project of sorts. That's great. Hesitate to even like share these parts of this video, but I think it's very cool. A lot of times information about dyers and designers feels like almost institutional knowledge that everybody knows. Um, it's almost like akin to, I started working in DC. Everything's acronyms and it's like, everyone just assumes that you know what those mean, but you don't always need to assume. So. I always like learning a little bit more about dyers, whatever, something that I haven't purchased from before because I am also a creature of habit. So let's go to the yarns. We want to look at their, oh, ooh, wait, tweed. Ooh, ooh, this could, ooh, 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 this is nice. These tweeds would be fun. I mean, and if you wanted to, you could make whatever color you wanted, like in whatever like era. This could be 1989. I'm sure those are gonna be on sale soon. Um, we could do an Evermore one. I don't love that color, gonna be honest. This reminds me of the Crayola Crayon Macaroni and Cheese. I don't love it for me, but it might be good for you. Okay, so this tweet is Gorge. It is Gorge. This is Fine Highland Wool in Donegal Wool. I haven't used Donegal Wool before, but my guess and my understanding, I think, is like Highland Wool is probably softer and Donegal Wool is more rustic. I've used Highland Wool before. I've used um, Cascade, and which we're gonna look at that again because I want to use that again this fall, and that is nice. Okay, so here is their worsted. So it's called Wool Stock. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so you can get it in large hanks, which is cool. Again, kind of leaning more towards the cooler grays than the whites. And let's see if they have a good accent color. Yes, this would be it. This would be it. If I had to buy from these three, I would buy this and maybe one of the other colors that we saw. But if I wanted to be bouge, I would do this. This is like what I'm looking for. Midnight Sea, perfect, yes. Like almost black, but it's blue. Love that. Oh, okay. A moment for the colors, please. These are gorgeous. I feel like this is a really good range too. Sometimes I feel limited by... Sometimes I feel limited about... Sometimes I feel limited by what colors are offered by certain dyers. Like sometimes it's just not the general palette of what I'm going for, but this I feel like is a pretty good range. You have different hues. 
you have more fun, bright colors, but also kind of like your basics of what you would need. So that's great. Okay, had fun dropping in in blue sky fibers and on the folklore card again. Let's move on to a different sweater. Moving into a little bit of color work, something that has caught my eye every time I see it on my Instagram feed is the Pressed Flowers Pullover by Amy Christoffers. I, it is a mosaic knitting pullover, and I believe this motif was first seen, maybe it was a shawl, then a cardigan, then a pullover. Pullover came last. And she uses like a color changing yarn here for like the accent color, and it's just, I really actually like this like purple and kind of army fatigue green. That's nice. And I see that this is Green Mountain Spinnery, another place I don't think I've actually looked at too closely. So let's head over there. Green Mountain Spinnery is a Vermont-based yarn store, and this sweater um, sample is used using the Uzaic DK and the Ragtime DK. So the Ragtime looks like the color-changing yarn. I'd love to see what these look like. So this is two-ply, and then I'm guessing each is two different colors <laughs> and you get that fun look. I have to say right off the bat, nothing's really jumping out at me of these color selections. Maybe this one, Parker was also the name of my cat, that could be fun with like a maroon sweater. That would be fun um, contrasting colors. I kind of wish there were more Samples to look at. This is drawing me, but not necessarily what I would go for, but that could be fun with like a white base. Someone I follow on Instagram, Allie Loops, did a like a low contrast version of this sweater, which I also liked. Um, so I'm gonna head over to Spin Cycle because off the top of my head, that's like the other big color changing yarn and see what they have. But let's look at um there are other like base colors. I see some in here that are sticking out to me. Like, I don't think I would go for this. Like, I don't think I would wear this color, but I am drawn towards it. And I think that might be what this base color is. Me, Mr. Mustard, I love that. I wonder if that's a, no, that's not a clue reference because his name's Colonel Mustard in Clue. Okay, purple haze, purple rain. I like pink Cadillac too. These are fun. I like. I really like these basics or these bases and their colors. And that's a really fun, like almost poppy um, red. It's like a reddish orange, an orangish red, if you will. I like that a lot. All right, I'm gonna look at Spin Cycle. We're gonna hop over there. <gasps> oh my gosh, <laughs> that's so pretty. <laughs> Kyoto. Oh and my favorite, one of my favorite Phoebe Bridger songs. Just like an electric orchid purple, so fun. This is also gorgeous, like a fuchsia. That's pretty, I wouldn't get it. I, I just, I stay away from orange. Wow, I have not been over here in a while and they've added some really like vibrant, vibrant colors in their dyed in the wool. So these aren't really going for like the low contrast. <laughs> I was looking for I think these these would just have to like you would want these to like make that impact wow these are all really pretty they even have a black and white one that would be fun with like a white base or like a black base if you wanted something neutral but still color changing oh there it is in the the pressed flowers motif I think I'm not sure what that, I, it looks like a hat, but okay. Like what if you did, like I did this in like a purple. That would be very cool. Or this with like a brown. So they say that it is probably good to buy these in person because of how obviously different these all look. Like these are all the same colorway. But if it was like more of, I think this first picture that we saw like this with the brown, that would be really cool. With like the pops of pink and purple. This is the absolute zero colorway. That would be fun. I haven't been over here in a while just because I know it's so expensive and I'm like, I shouldn't be looking. 
many skeins would I need of the, of the color? Let's see. So 500, so you would need probably two, three. You'd need probably three. So it's, again, not, this is, you know, aspirational. This would be so fun in like a pastel pink. Okay, I have lots of ideas now. Or this one in a pastel pink for a low, a low contrast look. Dang, y'all, I, I need to get away from here. It is too dangerous. I'm only on the first page. I am only on the first page. Fine line, is that Harry Styles inspired? Or is it pen inspired? See, if you wanted like a more high contrast look, like this would be fun, that, a bright yellow. Is that crazy? Is that insane? This Miss Me? It reminds me of a Vera Bradley pattern. Um, okay, we have to, we're taking a detour. I don't know if Vera really ever took off uh, internationally, but this was something that like middle to upper middle class Americans loved and still love and it's like quilted bags that came in all different patterns and like the patterns would all release differently so this is the this is the pattern I'm thinking of pinwheel pink yes is this also pinwheel pink yes this also this looks like this kind of this with like a, a, cre a creamy like a peachy a peachy white a peachy a peachy something that would be cool too wow so lots of options here I, I we need to take a break from this because I could be here all day but wow like I get the hype I haven't even used this yarn but I really really want to one day so maybe this will be the year we do a little treat myself for I'm not sure what I'll find an occasion I'll figure it out <laughs> let's move on to a, another kind of colorwork sweater I want to make. This fall, I really want to make a colorwork circular the yoke sweater. I just want that like traditional feel and vibe. I've been called to Sorry Northwoods pattern. I keep coming back to this loom pattern. I really like the motifs in it. But I also saw um, Aro of Aro and some Pearls in Iceland recently in her Urban Adventure sweater and I like that as well because at first I have to say I'm I'm not attracted to the more geometric designs but this is still like fun but I do think like this is more me but I also kind of like this neckline more but let's let's stay focused and let's just look at like a two color contrast sweater and what that might be I do love to go ahead and look at the projects in Ravelry because it gives you a lot of inspiration. It's marketed as like a two color color work, two strand color work, but you can obviously use more than one um, accent color if you want. I love this. This is so pretty. Shut up. Shut up. That's gorgeous. But this is also like basic in a good way. That's also very fun. So of course, obviously a lot of different ways you can go with color work and I think that's one of the things. <laughs> it's just the <laughs> decision paralysis that's kept me from doing it. But these are so gorgeous. And even just like this black and white is so classic. And I know that she used um, Cascade 220 for this, which makes me very happy because I made my Ingrid sweater in that last fall and I've been just dying to use it again. Total workhorse yarn to Peruvian Highland wool. Let's look, shall we, at the Cascade. I think the, honestly, the Cascade website's a little janky, so we're gonna look over here at Lovecraft. There's 129 shades. And also, this is a pretty good deal. It's $13 and you get 219 yards. You can make a wool sweater for a pretty decent price. And I, again, I cannot say enough good things about this wool. Pretty basic, but also nice. Okay, so when thinking of this sweater, we could totally do ooh, like a green and like a white. I don't, I don't think I'd want to go low contrast for this one. I think I definitely want this color work to sing. I think with the pressed colors, it's a little, with the pressed flowers, it's a little different because it is mosaic. Like you're going to see those yarns kind of peek out and I'm not 
so concerned with like that more repetitive motif being present as I would for like a color a color work yoke sweater. Of course, I could always knit something in purple. I have to really stop myself most times from knitting things in purple because it is my favorite color. Oh, like a light heather and a white with white accents. That would be really nice. Or if we could, we did something like this project and did like the white and the kind of, or like the cream, the gray, and then two shades of purple would also be gorgeous. Or like purple and like a mauve. Shut up. Shut up. That would be so pretty. We could go crazy and do like hot pink and white. I don't think I would do that for this sweater. I think I would want more kind of like grounded colors, I guess. Is that the word? You know what I mean? Like muted, neutral, wearable. Hot pink so wearable. Honestly, I look really good in hot pink, but wearable. That would be a really fun accent color, this tiger lily. And this, this color's been really trendy, this kind of like poppy red, orange. I don't know what I'd pair that with though. Like it's such a strong color. Like that in white, mm, I don't think I love it. It's a little, I don't know. Lots of things that we could do here. I think what stands out to me are these purples and maybe doing like a multi-way color motif with like the natural, with perhaps like a light gray. A light gray or something like this yeah something something like this would then maybe that's really cool that could be fun with this and like another like purple to kind of bring out the purples in this that could be fun too let me know how you go about you know selecting colors for your color work projects I believe this is also something that could really benefit from in-person shopping but again we're just window shopping today so it's always fun to like get an idea of what's out there. Blue Knitwear is someone that I've seen really like pop off on Instagram, which I love because I think their designs are absolutely gorgeous. This is their Mamba dress and a quarter zip sweater is in testing right now. And I think I would want to make the sweater. I'm making a lot of knit dresses now for the spring and summer, but for me, I just don't like wearing dresses when it's cold outside, mostly because I don't like wearing tights. They are a prison to me. So anyway, I would love to like use this kind of cord motif in a sweater. That'd be great. So she uses an Issachar wool cord with an Issachar mohair. Let's look at a more like budget option and then we can hop on over to Issachar. Okay, so this is an upcycle cereal packet. It's $5 for each ball. You are very limited on colors here, but a kind of like camel-y sweater would actually be gorgeous. Like that would be so pretty. That speaks to me out of all of these right off the bat. Like, mm, that gray doesn't really speak to me. This green, ugh, not really, sorry doll. The navy, also no. Like a blue sweater does not really sing to me, but maybe the mob. So let's go over to their palette and see what that would look like. So Knit Picks palette is another, I feel like very popular, like just basic workhorse yarn. It's a fingering weight yarn. I think it is made in Peruvian Highland wool. Okay, here already, like this is called Camel. I don't think I would maybe go for something like heathered like this, but maybe if they had something more just plain, I would go for it. And they call it palette because there's a lot of colors that you can choose from. So I know this is also very popular um, for folks making color work, especially because of, I think one thing you need to be cognizant of color work is kind of like the grip that you have. With your yarn, you want something a little more teethy so it sticks to itself so that the color work kind of blends into itself more nicely. Like look at all these shades of purple. Comfrey. Like Humphrey, like Camel Heather, okay. That I, that I would go for, with that in the mohair. Okay, I think I know what I'm casting on this fall, oh my goodness. Okay, that's, these are great. Like, and it keeps going, like, I don't need, how many colors is this? It comes in a lot, like an ever-expanding range. 
and they're five dollars for I believe a 50 gram ball you get 231 yards pretty good pretty good less possibilities here I like the idea of using an, al an alpaca or I would just use a DK weight yarn you can totally make that substitution like don't think that you have to do that so let's quickly get a cigar here's the other thing these are very like they're named like in ways that I do not remember so she uses the silk mohair. You can look at these colors real quick. Do you have kind of more of that camel option? That is gorgeous. Even if I don't want to make something in mohair. Or like a copper. So I have a sweater in like orange, but like a brown copper color would be really just like delicious. I'm kind of less drawn to the super colorful colors in this instance for this sweater, but wow. Wow, these are very nice. See, that's the good thing when at least this is in Kroner. I don't know how much that is in USD. Coming by way of camel, my eighth grade science teacher used to say that when things would take a long time to load. Because they're coming by way of camel. Okay. Mmm. Delicious. Like, maybe I want a sweater that looks like how my grandma would drink her coffee, which was like a bunch of cream. That's gorgeous. So, wow. It just goes to show that there are a myriad of options out there. If you want to not totally break the bank, if you want to break the bank, you can totally do that with these Lux fibers. But you don't always have to feel like if a, if a pattern is suggesting something super Lux that you have to make something with that. I think a lot of folks know that, but it's a good reminder. So I think we're going to log off here before I actually start buying four sweater quantities of yarn at once because that would be no 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 good you know if you like this format of this video i can definitely do more i think they're very fun they're very like low lift for me to create because it's just doing what i normally would do but commentating it um so let me know if you like it and i will see y'all soon back on my channel bye